Dang, that's a big old transformer. Big old 250 amp transformer. Good God the money. <laughs> Let's see what time it is here. That's pretty quick. That's pretty neat right there, man. That's a neat little watch uh, a buddy of mine gave me. Anyway. I gotta go back to my house and get my shoes. Work. Anyway, um, my Galaxy uh, S5 I usually use for recording is overheated at the moment. It's so hot out here in Georgia. I'm having to <laughs> use my uh, tablet here, which I have never used before, so sorry if the video is a little different in quality. But basically, uh, you know who video this is for. You basically uh, got this off eBay from me, and it was just as simple as simple can be on and off switch, and and that was pretty much it. And you asked for uh, me to clean it up. It was a little dirty inside. Uh, it had been sitting in the closet over here about two years or so. And whoever painted it before, a little bit of black paint got in uh, on the board and everything. You wanted me to add a preamp to it, and you wanted me to add a uh, fan uh, standby switch on it as well. And uh, so that's what I've done. This right here is the on and off. Okay. This right here is the fan. All right. So that stays on right there, whether the box is on or off. Okay. All righty. Let me go ahead and demonstrate the preamp for you. If you can see this. All right. Preamp is off. On. Off. Oh, that needle jumping back and forth. Anyway, somebody talking. I off. On. Off. Let me get. Let me find a channel that ain't jumping around on now. Let's try that right there. Somebody is bleeding over y'all. Bear with me. Hold on. Alright, we're on channel 30. Alright. That's off. On. Off. On. Okay. Alright, man. Well, I'm on this hot radio right here, man. Old stick man mod. I usually don't use this radio. This radio is uh, doing over 10 birds, man. We're just going to kind of quickly burp it. But on the, vi on the uh, YouTube video, I was using this supply, but on the medium tap. We got it on the high tap now because it was pulling that thing down about 13 volts. <laughs> so we got it on the high tap now. It's floating at 21. We got this fan regulated for you too. I'll show that to you. All right, I'm just going to turn this variable about 75% right there, man. Okay. Just 75%. I'm just going to quickly burp it. Go ahead and flip that fan on too. All right, man. It's RMS scale with a thousand watts. Good. There's your 400 bird. Let's see what it's dropping to. Good. About a 14.4 volts. 400 RMS. Good. All right, just let you quickly see the uh, PEP. Show you it's off the scale. Good. See, that's off the scale right there, buddy. Sometimes you'll hear me say, uh, you know, in the corner and this and that, and it ain't really in the corner. That right there is actually in the corner when it goes past 1,000. Good. I got the dead key on the radio down real low. Check this dead key out. About a 200 watt dead key. Good. That's off the scale. <laughs> uh, let's flip that off right there. I always forget, man. I think, who is it? I think it's old BMK. Uh, Mr. BMK, Mr. Junebug. I think he's got a LED right here to remind him to turn that off. I bet it's for the same reason I do mine. <laughs> but, uh,. Well, there you go, man. It just, uh, like I said, man, you can sit here and turn the amp off, and the fan's going to stay on. That's your switch right there you asked for about the fan. Okay. 
And uh, like I said, I do have that regulated for you. All right, let's go ahead and get back here and turn this supply off. All righty. Get that real deal technology. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, your other request was you wanted some good thick four gauge on there. And as you see, man. We got that done for you. I went ahead and added that uh, antenna uh, transmit sticker. That's actually stickers that uh, come from uh, um, Texas Star Amps. I got a good good amount of them. But I uh, had a problem finding some grommets, man, to, to fit that. I had to uh, actually take a grommet off a brand new uh, Fat Boy I got over here, man. I'll replace it later. But, man, this is some good wire, brother. Real good wire. Let me unplug this. Let me unplug this for a second and brag about this wire. This wire is more close to like uh, two gauge or something, man. I was reading a, an article, an American, uh, I forget what it was, a very reptical, 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 you know what I'm trying to say, article. And uh, one of the three most, one of the three companies that have the most stranded wire, this is one of them. Let's see if I can get it in focus. KNU Concepts, FedwoodCage.com. Okay. This has 2,058 strands of wire. OFC. This is some great wire, man. When I bought me some the first time, I fell in love with it. This is what I'm using from here on out. I love it. All right. Take this off and show you the inside real quick. It's hot out here, man. I gotta get my butt back in there. Gonna put me a little one one pill together. I think I'm gonna take it in the house, man. It's so dang hot out here. I think I'm gonna do that build in the house. Alright, I'll put you some new Teflon wire on the uh, fan right here. Some uh, uh 22 gauge. As you see, there's your switches now in the front. Okay. There's your regulator and everything for the fan. I just put it down here. This transformer was up a little. I uh, put me a piece of copper board up under it, kind of pushed it down and soldered it to uh, push it down a little bit. It was kind of hiked up a bit there. Take a look at them four gauge connections, man. <laughs> I tell you what, man, this thing ain't going to starve for no power uh, dealing with the power wires. I tell you what, what, what would have been even better, man, that it make this box run a little bit cooler, possibly. Just throw that B plus mod on this cotton picker, man. Come up with two, uh, at least two uh, 16s or two 14s into a choke and go to the front of this tran uh, transformer right here. It'll help us stay a little cooler, man. But this thing's rocking, dude. This thing's rocking, man. Uh, you could do that yourself later on if you ever wanted to, man. That's just a little choke right here. You just done solder. But, you know, these chokes being so short, man, of a run, of course it's enough. It's just one of them things we do, man. We believe it makes uh, makes it run a little cooler. That way, having a little extra wired uh, power in the transistors individually. All right, there's your uh, preamp. That's a preamp back there with some real... That thing ain't coming off there, man. You'd have to take some vice grips and rip that off. The relay would probably tear up before that comes off. <laughs> All right, man. And uh, just like I said, man, we got this uh, good four gauge on here for you. Soldered real well. I'm probably clean that flux off, maybe. If I got some time, uh, just to kind of match everything else. We got this board. Probably spent about two hours just cleaning this board, man. I took this one thousand off and uh, cleaned it up, put it back on. There's a few other odds and ends, like right here. Um, just had a wire going across here. What I went ahead and did is just took that wire off, put you a five watt uh, ten ohm right here. Uh, just kind of help 
kind of helped with the reflect a little bit too. I noticed the reflect came down just a tad bit on the uh, on the uh, input actually. So uh, just that eh, just made me feel a little bit better. We kind of like to have a resistor there, man. Kind of helps with the uh, kind of slow that RF down just a little bit so that it ain't just jammed into the four pill section. And like I said, man, I'm glad I did that because uh, I'm glad you asked me to do this, brother. Because like I said, man, this is something that's just been uh, sitting in my closet that I had bought from a buddy named Triple Nine. And I hadn't done nothing to it except put these feedback circuits on because he had took them off. Um, this right here, man, wasn't even hardly soldered well. I just moved it and it came off. So after I saw that, I went ahead and tested all the other uh solder points man and checked them out so i went ahead and resoldered that for you of course and also this transformer right here was kind of a little low to the board whenever i, I see something like that i'll take a little piece of copper and just kind of wedge it up under it and solder it to it so that board will it will never short out on that board right there so that's needing positive uh dc voltage there and i believe that's it man uh another thing i did is i uh I, I uh, strapped down a few of these wires, like the 316 here. It was a little loose. Um, I, re I also I re-ran this uh, hot hot wire here going to the input, uh, the driver output transformer on the driver. Uh, it, the choke was sitting over here on all this, and I just wanted to get that choke away from all that and get it over here by itself. And went ahead and strapped that down right there and right there, and uh, just re-ran that. I uh, Oh, one other thing I did, that this hot bus, man, is, is, is small. I, I came close to just taking this hot bus up and replacing it, putting a bigger hot bus on there. But, but what I did to kind of reinforce the current flow on that is I went ahead and got me a 14-gauge wire, and I got that uh, joker strapped across that bar for you, man, to kind of help with that current flow to get that current from here over to this transformer a little better. And uh, as you see, it's not having any problems at all with that, man. Like I said, this this wire is way overkill, man. This is something you'd run on an eight gate, on an eight pill, man. Uh, so uh, you ain't gonna have no problem with that, man. We got you a good choke right there. I don't even need a tie strap. That things on there so tight. Got you some uh, heat shrink here to kind of help with those. You know, when, you, when you're put, I had to use two soldering irons to get this thing put on this, man. Because uh, that's some big wire, brother. It's a big wire. And also, one last thing I did is I went ahead and re-ran the wire going to your relay, power in your relay there. Guy had some big honking wire on there, man. There ain't no need for that, man. You're, 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 in, the, you're in the milliamps when you're dealing with this to, uh, to power this relay. So I just went ahead and uh, redid that and put you a little choke on there to uh, keep you know, make sure no RF can get, get into that coil, man. So uh, that's it, man. I think that's about it, brother. So I put some screws in this thing and get this thing, uh, get the tin on it and... Uh, Get this thing on out to you, man. Hope you enjoy. Hope it lasts a long time for you, man. Can't beat that, man. That's some good wire, brother. All right, man. Well, you have a good one. We got you two uh, two ferrite beads, too, on the power in ground, man. So that fan right there shouldn't have no RF in it. All right. I think that about sums it up. There might be a few other small odds and ends I did, but I just uh, probably come to me later. <laughs> um Yep, that's it, man. 73rds to you. God bless. Mr. Gatekeeper, we're on to the next.